Hello everybody, Derek Smith here with the Private Investigations Academy and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about 10 marketing tips for private investigators. You see, a lot more goes into private investigation than the actual investigating. In order to be successful, you have to run a business which comes with its own set of challenges. You have to market your services, for example. Private investigators offer a unique service and are unlike other businesses which might leave investigators questioning how to market their business. However, as unique as PIs are, many traditional marketing tools can still be used when applied to the proper target market. Some of these tools are going to be listed in this video. Of course, there's many more out there, but I want to give you some advice for investigators and how to market your business. For tip number one, I want to talk about business cards. Now, this might be a no-brainer to you, of course, but be sure to always have professional business cards printed and ready for distribution. The one time you don't have business cards on you will inevitably be the time that you talk to someone about doing business, which could make an unprofessional first impression. Eliminate that possibility by always having business cards printed and with you. A next idea is freebies or swag. The cheap but useful items that you give away to prospective clients, whatever you want to call them, are a great way to keep your name physically in front of your client. As a general rule, the freebies you give your clients should at least have your business name or logo printed on them. If there's room to have contact information visible, that should be included as well. Everyone loves free stuff, whether it's t-shirts, mugs, coasters, water bottles, stickers, pens, keychains, mouse pads, calculators, food, you name it. Whether you are a professional with years of experience or industry newcomer looking for ways to snag your first clients, combining a well-written introduction letter with a freebie is a great way to connect with potential customers. Number three is visit your target clients. By physically visiting the office of prospective clients, you might score some time with the decision maker who hires PIs or find out who that is and schedule a time to talk with them. When you visit, I suggest bringing a treat, whether it's donuts in the morning, candy, or something as simple as water if they don't have a water cooler in the office, of course, to accompany that business card that you're going to give them. While a firm handshake is nice, treats makes you memorable. Number four is sponsor events. Sometimes it does take spending a little money to make money. In this case, sponsoring a legal or paralegal event can offer a great return on your investment. Consider covering the cost of catering or offering monetary sponsorship for a local association event. As a sponsor, you can request a few minutes to talk, hang a company banner, or supply pens and notepads printed with your contact information to attending members. Sponsoring events is a great way to present your company to several attentive attorneys at once, which can have a huge impact on your business. Number five is get involved with community events. Donating a prize for a contest, drawing, or raffle, or hosting a local race can help you reach out to potential clients at a community event. Being an active member of your community can create goodwill and help your firm gain exposure through word of mouth advertising. You may also want to consider utilizing your expertise to teach a public safety, self-defense, or basics of home surveillance course to community members. Number six is just like an attorney, you can take on pro bono work. Whether it is a missing person in the community, a tough case that a client has, or helping out as a colleague, offering occasional pro bono or volunteer time to work a case can prove to be beneficial not only because you did a good deed, but because it may leave a good impression and positive reputation. Not only can clients see how you work, but they also may want to give you business as a reward for your good deed. Just remember that ultimately you have a business to run, so be sure to charge for your services for any subsequent work after the pro bono job. Number seven is send newsletters. Staying in touch with clients can be a great way to keep your name at the forefront of their minds while also giving potential clients important information on industry news and changes. Newsletters can be sent as frequently or as infrequently as you want and by UPS or by mail or even by email. Number eight is maintain a blog. Take a cue from some of the top investigative bloggers and start your own private investigative blog or YouTube channel like this one. Whether you focus on technology, highlight specific services and cases, or offer your thoughts on breaking industry news, keeping a blog can help you gain exposure among potential clients and peers. As an added bonus, 
opportunities for guest blogging on other sites will expand your readership and client base. Number nine is utilize social media, of course. Social media presents a great opportunity to network with colleagues and find other ways to work. Join groups dedicated to the industry on different platforms to access networking opportunities, learn, and also grow your knowledge. Additionally, it's important to keep any social media accounts for your business updated and current. That's why I'm doing videos for you right now. And number 10, list on the directory. Finally, in order to put a professional foot forward, Private investigators can advertise their services in directories like PI Now, one of my favorite, or in the directories of related industry associations. Being listed in directories specifically for PIs will provide beneficial advertising when potential clients are searching for an investigator, and it will provide the opportunity to collaborate with fellow PIs. Also, most directories require a certain level of experience before PIs are eligible to get listed. So being part of a directory reflects that an investigator is a trusted professional. So for you, happy marketing. Innovative marketing tactics go a long way in creating new business opportunities. And as a private investigator, you need to look for ways to rejuvenate your marketing strategies and consider new ideas in order to jumpstart your business or get your business going. There are an unlimited number of ways to get your business name out there, so take some time to brainstorm which introduction strategies work best for you. Ask new clients how they found your services to determine where you are experiencing market success. And don't be afraid to try something new. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you will put some of these marketing tips into play. If you need to upgrade your private investigative skills, I want you to take a look at my courses, my private investigation career course. Most of those two week courses don't really prepare you for actually going out and conducting investigations. They might prepare you for the state qualifications or exam, but you want to be able to really go out there in the streets and run a good investigation. I take my over 25 years of investigative experience, including being a federal agent and a military special agent, and I packed it into my 35 lesson course so you can learn all you need to know to be a good investigator right out the bat. So check out my course, and I hope to see you inside the course. I'll see you in the next video.